Sabote! I am Jeff and that guy. And I am David. And we're bored and we're going to be playing games for you because in the Me Tooism of the internet, we watched something and thought it was amusing and thought, I want to do that as well. And just as a prep, Jeff uses a lot of big words. If you don't understand, Wikipedia is a wonderful source. Um, and David uses small words. Because I'm kind of dumb. But he still has trouble with them. So don't laugh at him. Uh, we are playing Equinox, the sequel to Solstice, uh, and it is a Super Nintendo game on the Super Nintendo. Go figure. This is one of my uh, favorite games, actually. Um, it is very bizarre, it's very colorful, it's 3D, sort of, in, in the way that... The wonderful Mode yeah, 7 can be. In the way that Mode 7 can be, also in the way that... Isometric can be. It's an isometric, uh, basically, platforming puzzle game. Uh, and listen, listen to that badass music, though. <laughs> this is our main character. His name is Glenn Dahl. Glenn plus Dahl. Uh, this first video is just going to be some, uh, literally it's just the introduction and the demos that run. So it's an excuse for us to talk annoyingly. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, like to point out that uh, it is a very pretty game, especially for Super Nintendo era. Yes, indeed. And also, as in... Uh, also, he's really well animated. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at him go. He, like, shrugged. And this is going to be uh, repeating, I guess, three more times? Two or three more times, just so the different demos. At the end, it actually has an ad for itself. <laughs> like, if you let it for play, it will, it will give an ad for itself. There's a... Uh, okay, it was... Some more interesting information. This was made by Software Creations, which is a game company in, or it used to be a game company, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Manchester, UK, or UK. I don't know. Is it pronounced? I think Manchester. I UK. believe it's uh, pronounced Narnia. Okay, so in Narnia, which is kind of weird because I thought it was fictional, but it's actually not. It, there's no, an it's, island. It's 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 north of. It's like great great. It's part of Great Britain. Yeah. It's right next to Wales, I think. Yes. That is to say that. You know, where, that's where whaling is done. Exactly. It's, it's where all the Russians go. That's that's why it's called whales, because the, of the whales. Yes. There. That's my understanding, anyways. Indeed. Uh, Software Creations made this game. Software Creations uh, was absorbed by Acclaim, and Acclaim was, of course, uh, exploded. <laughs> <laughs> all of their uh, all of the intellectual property was just dispersed, scattered to the wind, and I don't I have no idea who owns the rights to Solstice Equinox, all this fun stuff. Who knows? <coughs> um, the music in this game is really awesome. It was made by uh, two guys, Tim and Jeff Fallen, the brothers. Uh, Tim Fallen is kind of well known, I guess, in the Commodore 64, I guess, demo scene for his uh, music programming skills. Uh, the soundtrack in this game is really good because it's very ambient. Uh, we'll get to more of that later. Hmm. He actually had a, a brother, Mike, as well as the Tim and Jeff, and they actually all worked at Software Creations together. And after it exploded, they couldn't make enough money in the games industry, so they ended up with different jobs. So Mike became an ordained Anglican minister. Jeff is now a school teacher, and Tim became a graphic designer, which is kind of related. Yeah, because why not? Uh, let's see. Uh, some of the musical inspirations for Tim was it Tim? Yeah, Tim and Jeff. I, mean, I got this off their Wikipedia page because I just thought this was too amusing. One of his inspiration was John Adams, uh, which I do believe was a minimalist composer and was also one of our presidents. He was, you know, <laughs> multi-talented. Yeah, right. Didn't he have his own beer too? Uh, yes, he did. M multi-talented. I, I said that. Don't. Don't. Oh, it's it's repeat. having the uh, the uh, the advertising. Right oh yeah, now. there's the, the there's the awesome advertisement. Look at all that those features in this wonderful game. Mind-bending puzzles. Yep, 100, 450 rooms. Of the, a lot of them are kind of similar, but oh, that's, that's, uh, that's oh, there's the other other features that didn't make it on the list include uh, the best and worst death sound in any video game ever. Yeah. Uh, sweet ass turban, immune to death. Turbans are always immune to death. As turbans are. Yes. yes. That's better uh, than adamantium. And also right the there. ability to jump 80 feet into the air, which we will be seeing in the next video. Yes. Um, and a main character that is too badass for a neck or a nose. Because you don't need those things. Yeah, you really don't. Um, it's not as necessary as you would think. Yeah. Let's see. Billy up, billy up, 
So that is the end of our first video. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it was a little too long. Should we do that again? Yeah, I don't. I don't need to. I can just the video itself can be as long as it needs.